Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager where we are continuing to build our very own electric bus company. Last few episodes, boys, we've done some serious expansions, but one problem we've got right now is our buses are very, very dirty, like considerably dirty right now. Now, right now, we are currently researching uh, better food for our employees, but more importantly, the automatic washing of the buses. We already have the automatic cleaning. It means that when the buses get to a certain cleanliness level inside, they automatically get cleaned. And we're about to research the same thing for the outside. I kind of haven't cleaned any of my buses because I want to see <laughs> I want to see all the buses get cleaned at once, where so I think it will be kind of hilarious. But welcome back here, boys. Last episode will be a new route. That new route is a public service line. And we kind of stick into these little dog bone kind of lines, which for the most part are really, really working out for us. We just need to increase the capacity on the buses. And one way to do that is to research a new type of bus. I've only ever researched one new bus in this game. Am, am I right in saying that? Yes. And it was when we got the double decker. I asked you guys last episode what we should research the final double decker or should we go for an articulated one? Everyone was like, yo, Seniac articulated get a bendy boy up in this biz right now and that is what we're gonna do so if you are enjoying this series so far then please make sure you smash that like button down below subscribe if you are new around here i really do appreciate it don't rely on the recommended tab uh, tab get a sub get notified and if i do sound a little bit different i got i got man flu so yeah i know i know i know but we rock and roll boys we rock and roll so while that gets researched then Apparently, um, I can assign buses to parking spaces. Now, it doesn't really make much sense me doing this. Like, parking space and depot. Oh, this is... Why, yes, beautiful. Let's do this. If I assigned it into a spot, there's already a bus. Do they switch? Yes. Now, remind me about that, even though you can't remind me. But I'm going to try and remember that for the end of the day. Because I would like to get buses in little areas, in categories, and we can sort them out really nice. I think that would be pretty good. I do think that would be pretty good. Now, recently, I want to say recently, we nearly made 200,000 yesterday. That is absolutely crazy. We've got the shift scheduler as well. I can also do it for tomorrow. So assign buses automatically, assign drivers. We have the perfect amount of buses, the perfect amount of drivers for our company right now. Uh, our current goals is to reach a certain level of active users and also to clean the buses. But while before we do that... We need to expand our service center, boys. We need to make it a little bit bigger because it does kind of now slightly get a little bit overloaded. <laughs> so while we wait for the money to come in, while we wait for that stuff to all get researched, let's extend and build upon our service center. So I'm going to bring it back to... Do I just take it all the way to the end? There we go. It's going to be quite a large building. I'm going to bring it down to here to kind of fill that gap. And I did want to create a little bit of a corridor. Now... Do I go for a free wide corridor? That would be like this. Why can't I build there the service center? Oh, is it because you can't technically build a second building? Right, let me go to here. Because I'll just end up deleting it if needs be. Right, if I go to there and then go, bam. That's a free wide corridor. Which we could, I mean, then again, I don't need to do a service center. What I could have done, and I'm so damn foolish. I am so damn foolish. What I should have done is deleted you. Oh, hello. Hello. Delete you. And actually, right, put a corridor down, which we can do a free wide corridor. And then do a small little canteen and restroom there for the service center employees. That obviously is the better thing to do, right? That is the better thing to do. So, back to our service center. Hold on, boys. Hold on. And I'm going to try and get this aligned. So it's about there to there. Now, this building is not going to be perfectly aligned central because this bit that sticks out, well, this bit here sticks out more than that bit. So hold on. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got to delete two. My, OD my OCD cannot comprehend it, okay? It cannot comprehend it right now. <laughs> but it gives us a nice little walkway. I'll probably fill it with trees and plants and all that kind of jazz. And if I quickly pause right now, the service center is now technically getting overloaded. 
So let me go to my, um, did I do hall or corridor? I think it was corridor. We'll put a door just here. We'll get a tinted door just there so they can walk through. Nice little shortcut access. And then we're going to place down a bunch of these little desks right now. So making sure that we get it on the right side. Bam, 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 bam. And I reckon we kind of turn it at some point like this. And then we've got a kind of little bit of an organization going on. A little space there for them to walk through. I'll drop a little plant in the corner. Now you go there. Now service center, we then need a bunch of service desks. Which I can kind of place all the way down. I don't know how far to take it in reality. Is this overkill you reckon? So there's one after... No, that's there. Okay, they don't technically align fully. But we're going to ignore that, okay. I just heard like a big bang. What was that? Now, do you reckon that's enough service desks? <laughs> it might be overkill. It might actually be overkill right now. But what we can do is we can create a little bit of a waiting room. I feel like this is slightly overkill. If I just do this real quickly. Right, watch this. Right, two space either side, but I'm going to delete the middle row. Actually, I'm going to delete this as well. Widen it out a bit. Now, without doing any decoration, it feels like they're about to sit in a theater, doesn't it? Without doing any decoration, boys, we've got a very basic setup on the go right now. Now, I would like to delete these chairs, please. I don't think I can because people are sitting on them. So we'll, we'll scrap that, put it back into play mode. And um, we're getting a phone call coming in for the depot right now. No. Uh, <laughs> we're also going to hire some more employees. Oh, no, I need more lockers. Okay. Right. Oh, I thought the buses were about to be washed then for a second. So more people can come in and more people can sit down. But we are still completely overloaded with the wait times. So what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to then kind of build the extension of this on the depot. So it is classed as a corridor, and I've got to get this just right. So that there is there. So if I bring this down to here and go across, I want to say it's about there, a 16. But what I also have to do is get a warehouse, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six across to there by 30. Oh, I've gone one too far. Right, all that allows me to do then is just figure out where the placement is for the rest of this corridor section. So corridor then comes all the way in. I've completely missed that bit there. What a fool. Oh, why did I go all the way over there? It doesn't go all the way over there. Seniac, you're an absolute noob. You are an absolute noob right now. Do you even know what you're doing? The answer's no, guys. The answer's no. Right, to there. And then that is the corridor, which mimics that. It's just a mirror flip. That's all it pretty much is. Now, we'll get a tinted door on. And we've got a couple of windows there as well. So I'm trying to kind of get it to be similar. Very good, very good. And I just want to place down now some lockers. Now, we've been doing this, and I'm hoping it's the same. Like that. So a row of three. Now I've got to do a row of four because I've gone one too many. Right, this is just enough right now I'm going to do just to hire a few more service workers. And eventually I'll come back and just fine-tune it all and we build more over in this area. So that then should allow me to hire some more employees, hire some service employees. We'll sort it by skill. And we'll go one, two, three, four. So only four now because of the skill level variation. I don't want to hire anybody too weak. I want some good employees. So that will kind of then hopefully slowly eat into it. But we'll get to a point eventually where we'll have so many. I, I might, I might even, I'll might. probably eventually redo all this. I'm, it's, it's very overkill. It's very overkill. But my buses are now automatically being washed. So we automatically clean them. We automatically um, 
wash or clean the inside or try to clean the outside they recharge automatically bearing in mind i gotta get more charges in other areas so by that logic everything is slightly automated in the depot right now there's not much i've got to do apart from schedule the shifts and this should eventually uh, kind of finalize our little goal as well oh this is very exciting boys this is very exciting right now now we've got a couple more double deckers coming back so i'm going to sign their parking spaces while i can um i don't know i don't know whether to do like articulated here double deckers here so, well these are classes minibuses but i keep calling them solos don't i oh we've now just got our silver trophy let's go boys let's go so now then we've oh we actually completed the weekly ticket holders as well and we've got two new goals that's perfect right with that done we can now officially research an articulated bus Twenty thousand big ones 110 trophies let's get that done in the background i'm gonna rejig all of this and hope it works out it should be pretty fun we'll have like a big section of articulated double deckies and i'm, ca I'm gonna call them solos <laughs> even though they're not solos but i'm gonna call them solos but yeah, you, you get the gist of it, boys. You get the gist of it. So we're just now waiting then for the articulated buses to be researched. Now, while that can get researched, we can also research the buses, uh, the reduced bus dirt by 10%. That'll be a big one to research as well. And reduce prices for replacement parts. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. And we'll leave it like that for now. We'll leave it like that for now. So now we've got the service center slightly expanded. We're now going to outdoor and uh, hedges. Oh, the hedges are all done around that side there. We'll kind of get them, the rest of them in here. Uh, we'll get some going around. So we'll have that little connection there. I don't ultimately know how big... If the building's going to fill up that, they probably most likely will. I'm not honestly sure just yet. But you can see from this right now, even those additional employees, we're still not maximizing the service center. So I'm going to hire three more people. Now I've got money to burn at this point, so we can kind of go through it, and that then should eat into the deficit now. It might, to be honest with you, it might feel a bit overkill, but the reality of it is. As we keep expanding our company, it's just going to get more and more people coming here. That's just, you know, in generally, what, what's just going to happen? So, you know, it, it might not be overkill in the long run. A few episodes from now, it could actually not be enough. Oh, we got a new bus, the Lion City 18E. Now, the downside to this is, right, with this new bus, this is the big downside. There is one of free articulated. Now, I've either researched the best one, or I've researched the worst one. We don't really know, because I don't know what the other ones are in the game. But if I now go to our bus fleet and buy a new bus, you will now see that we have this Lion City 18E. It carries, actually, 24 more passengers than the Electroliner. But the Electroliner has 74 seats. This one has 60 seats, so technically, technically, there is less seating, but there's more capacity. Now, you might be thinking, why is that an issue then, Seniac? Well, when it comes to our ratings, there is a section for not enough seats, which is what they really, really want. So, I'm not sure whether to get this articulated now for the sake of having some articulated to put on our bus routes. Or research another articulated. It is going to be 20 grand. We need 163. We could potentially do it. Mm, but I feel like I'm going to be wasting money right now. Because I don't know. I, it, this could be the best one I've got. I might buy a couple now. If you guys know. Is there a better articulated that I can research? Let me know in the comment section. And it's something that will get done next episode. So. What I'm going to do right now, what is a few buses here? We're going to quickly switch out their parking spaces. Just so we can kind of 
get this all into alignment of where they need to be and kind of then categorize them for being like in sections um do you know what i didn't check how much was that articulated okay it's, it's only 2200 more than the electro liner it does carry more passengers though. it's got less of a battery capacity now you know what I'm gonna do, boys. You know what I'm gonna do. Can I buy a cheap second-hand one? <laughs> right, we've actually got three pages to now look on. So I'll kind of go in a little bit cheaper, thirty-seven thousand. They rejected my offer. Um, twenty-eight. They rejected my offer. Uh, forty. They rejected my offer. How dare they, boys? How dare they right now reject my offer? <sighs> God damn it, boys. I, was, I really wanted another. I'm going to have to buy a brand new one, aren't I? Do you know what? Yeah. We'll buy a brand new one because it's... it's it's. How do I pull it? It's the first articulated. We'll buy it brand new. Now, uh, we do need to kind of research other stuff. Now, we're only going to buy one, but I also have to paint it as well. That's something else I've got to do. So, color scheme, we need bright green. Bright green, bright green. And then we need the decals. So place decal, we gotta put the, the Sediac decals on. Why, why is that looking like it's faded? Why is that faded? No, don't want to delete the decal. Why does it look like, look like it's faded? No, don't put a colour on it. Right, what's going on here, boys? What what what's what's going on here? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused to why. Right, what if I import another one? Right, why is it making it transparent? Is what I want to know. I'm confused, but I can't argue much. Is there like a trans paint draw? I'm, like, really confused right now to why I can't. Maybe it's just the articulates that have this issue. And I can't figure out the size either. Right, I put one there. It looks really weird now, doesn't it? It looks terrible. One there. Um, I'll do one here. I ain't gonna lie, boys, it looks kind of bad. <laughs> oh man, they've ruined my dream. Right, I'll save it anyway. Uh, e. Folio. Save locally. Apply. That was kind of weak, wasn't it, boys? That was kind of weak. But I ain't going to argue. We haven't articulated. It also just about fits in the parking spot. It just about fits in it. Now, I'm going to keep assigning buses while they're back into categories. I'm, I'm going to assume I've got more of a certain type of bus than I've got parking spaces available for that type of bus. But at least I've got designated areas. Right, you go there. Because you can see the numbers of the bus in front of the parking space, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, this is good. This is good. So now then, we've got to figure out what route would benefit from this. Hmm... I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Uh, buy used buses. Any other new ones back yet? Not yet. What would benefit from it? I don't know. Let me assign the shifts anyway. Shift scheduler. Now, for tomorrow, automatically assign. And drivers. Now, it's going on route one and route six. Do you know what? That's actually pretty decent routes from. That is actually pretty decent routes from. So, we'll take that. 
assigning buses and parking spaces. You go there, and then we'll eventually see what buses are in the wrong spots. And then <laughs> how many more I need to create. Or buy. Because we have double deckers in these ones as well. Um, parking spot, boom, there. Right, how much money have we made today, by the way? 180,000 big ones. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, there's a small bus. Is that the last of my solo? Yeah, I can't assign any more solos. Or minibuses, as they're known. In that area. There's a double decker right now, which we'll assign just there. They're all now slowly coming back as well. Now, the excess will park over here. So it just goes to show, boys, how many more we need. Or it could be a case that we start replacing the excess minibuses with double-deckers or articulated. That's also a thing that we could pretty much do. Because right now, we have 30 buses in total. Oh, 19 of them are minibuses. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5, 10. If I had this for minibuses, had this for double-deckers, and this for articulated, I could have 10 of each. Meaning, right, meaning, I've got 10 double-deckers, perfect. I need to get rid of 9 minibuses and then buy 9 articulated. That would be the goal. Because then we can even them out, have like a wide range of buses and a wide range of networks. Or maybe just funnel out all of the small buses in general anyway. I don't know, but then again we can utilize small routes to being the smaller buses. So, it kind of works out. I like to have a nice fleet. I like to have a nice organized fleet. Anybody else agree on having an organized fleet? I also need to buy chargers for all these as well. Is there still buses going around? Yes, there is. Okay, so, while they do that, buy a used bus. There's a couple here now as well. So, we'll see if we can get them cheap. They accepted my offer. Can we get another one cheap? Rejected. Another cheapish one. Rejected. See, I'm not lowballing that crazy in the hopes that they will accept. But they don't seem to want to accept anyway. Okay, they accepted that one. And there's one more here. Oh, wow! How many have I just bought? I feel like I just bought a fair amount. Right, you're going to assign the double-deckers in their parking spaces. Oh, hang on. I've run out of parking spaces in general. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me pause. Street. Parking space large. We're just going to throw a, a, like an overspill car park over here. Right, that will be our slight little overspill. And uh, where's the other double-deckers? There's one. Here. So my 10 double-deckers are now in their parking spaces, which is perfect. we got 10 minibuses there, 10 double-deckers. We just then need a bunch of articulated. So we'll move or assign this one to be in here. We'll assign you to be in here. Now, I've just got... Right, buses. I've just got... Um, Four art I just bought three new articulateds, which means I can then sell four minibuses. Right. And the only reason I'm gonna sell it is because I want to try and even out. I want to try and have ten of each, which will then give me the 30. So confirm selling. Confirm selling. Confirm selling. Why was that 30 grand? What's so special about that bus? Huh? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. We've received a new offer. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to accept the offer. I'm just going to accept the offer for the sake of getting rid of it. Oh, hold on! We need to repair some of them as well. 
Oh, okay, needs a new battery, new wiper. We'll throw in some new brake pads. Let's get that sorted out. Why are they not cleaning this bus? Oh, it's because I don't think the cleaners have arrived yet, have they? Um, okay, so shift scheduling for today. We're going to automatically assign what we can. Uh, buses, new offers. All right, pause. Yeah, that one we could sell for like 30 grand. Well, that's the free bus is now gone. Okay, free bus is now gone. I just need to buy six more articulateds to replace six of the minibuses that I'm going to sell. And then that puts my company back to where it is, or where, where, where it remains, the same amount of buses. But I have a selection then of uh, different variations. All right, put you over here. We also need to paint these, by the way, boys. Paint, paint. And same with you. We need to paint you. So the buses should hopefully get clean soon. So load, local templates, e folio, apply, apply. Easy enough. Easy enough. This is a real transformation, by the way, boys. This is a real transformation of the company right now. Load, e folio, apply, apply. Dun, 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 dun. Can't believe we got four articulated already. We have transferred the co transformed the company, not transferred. I ain't transferring the company right now, boys. I'm keeping ownership. But they're now all in the livery, which is perfect. We need to spend some money on having the ability to recharge them as well. That bus is going to be, be dead soon. So, on the streets, bus charger. Right. Only in spots that have buses confirmed. So if I assign the parking space to a bus, that's where we're going to have a charger. Oh, this needs a new indicator. Right, there we go. There we go, boys. We're making progress. So we need to make some additional cash right now to see us through. So is there anything else that we could research? Any of the free stuff that we could research right now? Uh, External depots, new... I mean, we could start thinking about upgrading the buses, but I, I, I'll wait till we've got enough money because we'll have to upgrade t like 30 buses at once. And that'll be a little bit of a pain. Right, that bus is now shooting out. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So let's see these articulateds in action right now. We've got a couple circulating as we can now see. Should we follow one? Let's follow this one. So 120 capacity, but only 60 seats. Or 60-ish. Now it is like 7 a.m. in the morning, so it's not going to be super busy, I don't think. But it has got a fair amount of people now on board. Ooh, we've got 50, 54. 84? Well, I picked up a lot of people. 100? 118? Oh, we're now full. <laughs> we're now full. And we're going back around again. It should take a huge pressure off the lines in general anyway. Oh, wow. We made 208,000 on the previous day. Interesting. Right. Okay. So while that's all happening then... Um, oh, climate action day to support the environment uh, and accelerate the expansion of climate friendly mobility. We are increasing the environmental bonus by 35% on uh, Thursday for all trips. It's currently Thursday. Great stuff. Great stuff. So we're currently at 89%. That's amazing. That's, a, that's really high. Look, look how much we've been making on the uh, environmental rewards lately, anyway. That's really good. That is really good. Now, in terms of my money. Uh, electricity we still haven't been paid yet so we're still using more than what we're producing or buying more than we produce so there's still like a ton of solar panels that we need to get built now try and buy some more used buses if we can if there's any available of these oh I was hoping they didn't accept my offer because it now means I've got to buy a new battery Oh, and that's going to be expensive. Now, because a battery is super expensive, 
Uh, well, hang on, what else did it need? We should have a lot of everything else, just the, the battery, boys. The battery. We did research the to reduce the parts, didn't we? Yeah, so if I get to replace some parts and get a new battery, that's an engine. Batteries used to be seven grand, and then I have 5,600. You know what, I'm going to buy two. And because they're, I'm spending that type of money, I'll pay the extra to get it delivered immediately. Um, oh, does, oh my god, we're getting a pandemic? Does the pandemic hit City Bus Manager right now? Uh, current cleanliness, 93%. I've got to keep it high, have I, something like that? Why is everyone phoning me? Listen, I'm busy, okay, guys? I'm busy right now. Uh, repair this bus. We might as well throw some brake pads on it as well. There we go. So, is it staff settings now? Uh, automatically wash buses once they get to 95% cleanliness. So, as soon as they get 5% dirty, we are cleaning them. That will be a way to kind of keep on top of the cleanliness. It'll also mean a lot more buses get cleaned more often there as well. Right, where's that bus? It, oh, no, it hasn't been repaired yet. Got to keep an eye on um, buses smoking, because that's how you know they need to be repaired. Oh, I can sell a bus now. I've just bought one, can't I? Okay, I can't sell that. I think it's about to disappear. We'll sell you. You are the chosen one. And if I... Assign that bus. Might as well throw that out there because I've now I'm selling the other bus that was originally assigned. So we'll have to sort the rest of that out when it comes back. Boys, the um the depot's hustling and a bustling right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. It does feel like it's hustling and a bustling right now. So shall we get in? Um having a second thought on Building a canteen and bathroom here. Because the service employees, they walk over here anyway. When they're not over there. Now, I know they, they you know, they might need the restroom and they're over there and got to walk over. But I feel like it will then make people over here walk over to here. And I want to try and keep them all central. So I'm going to go against that. But it also means... I'm going to rejig... This whole area. Do you know what? I'm going to delete all of them. Can I finally delete these chairs? Why can't I select the chair? I'm trying to go at it from a different angle. Right, you know what? I deleted that. That's one way to delete the chair, isn't it? That is one way to delete the chair. And I'm going to delete back to here. Which puts us at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And everything after that gets deleted. Right. So. Service center. We'll quickly throw these back in. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Spin it right round. What space did I do? I did a two space. So one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there you go. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, four. So that is four, eight. One, two, three, four. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. I have fifteen service employees. So hire one more. That is then sixteen in total. Hopefully that will be adequate enough. Hopefully that will be adequate enough. Because I want, I want, I've got to start thinking about getting my environmental rating up as well. 
So it's just trying to fine-tune the depo as much as possible. So we're going to delete all that. Delete to there. We've got the new offer for the bus. Oh, hold on. That didn't get deleted either. Why did that not get deleted? There we go. Uh, new offer for the bus. Full asking price as well. We'll sell that. We should be able to buy two buses as well. Uh, I'm unfortunately ill. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we'll get on to you in just a moment, please. Please. All right, there we go. Um, bushes all around the edge. And we can fill that with trees and plants and stuff. Should work out. Should work out. So in terms of bus fleet right now, five more articulated to sell five more minibuses. Right, okay, so any used buses we can buy? Articulated, please. That's one. That's two. Oh, wow, this is amazing. That's three. What just happened? I have no idea. So we're going to sell you. We're going to sell you. And there's no other variation to sell right now. Right, we're going to have to sign that bus. Right, pause. There we go. All buses have now been assigned. Fingers crossed. Uh, any repairs? New tires. Get that sorted. Also, parking space. You can go there. You can go there. You're there. What repairs do you want? Indicator and a wipe. Oh, and some tires as well. Did an articulated go over here? No, it didn't. I think it went straight out, didn't it? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Right, get you painted as well. Get you painted. Oh, we've got new offers. New offers. I'll accept them all. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. So, bus fleet. Oh, hang on. Painting this one next. We've got... Oh, we can sell one more minibus. Oh, yeah, we had to find it. It's only just come back, hasn't it? Confirm to sell review. Uh, load. Yeah, there is one more articulated that did get sent out. Because I can see that I haven't assigned the additional one. So I'll have two more buses remaining that I need to buy. Boys, this is crazy. This is crazy right now. There's no way in this world that I'm almost able to buy 10 articulateds in one go. This just goes to show you how much money we're actually now making. Right, no more articulateds yet. <clears throat> We've got a 10, 10, well there's 12 of these solo ones. Oh, we are so automated, it's unreal how automated we are. Right, here we go. I'll take the offer, just want that bus out of here. So we should have two additional minibuses that we need to sell. Waiting for the used bus market to refresh, and it has. That's one. Right, please get this one. That's two. I paid more than I would usually pay for these buses just for the sake of being able to get the buses. So you repair tires and brake pads. You repair wipers. Might as well just grab the tires and brake pads while we're there as well. And we're waiting for that additional minibus to appear. Also, assign you to there. Assign you to here. I'm just now missing that one. That one bus. That one articulated. I'm waiting to come back. 
Oh my god, I've bought 10 articulated buses. I've bought 10 bendy buses, boys. I've only gone and bought 10 bendy buses. Right, bus chargers and every one right now. So, five there, five there, five there, 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 there. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Get you painted. Right, has that other bendy bus come back yet? Not yet. We've got the offer. Oh, hello. So the offer's come in. We're going to sell. There's the bendy bus. So assign you to the parking space over here. You need to be painted. You, do you need to be repaired? No, but you need, do need to be painted. So load... This is amazing. <laughs> and that's the bus that can be sold. Oh, I didn't see this happening, like, in just one episode. So we'll wait for that bus to be sold. Wait for the offer to come in. Oh, this is ridiculous, boys. This is re ridiculous right now how good this is. We can now start investing on, like, everything. Oh, the new offer's coming in. We sell. So, officially, we have 30 buses. 10 mini, 10 double-decker, 10 articulated. That is crazy. My OCD is loving this. It really is. It really is. But what we'll have to do now... And I don't think I'm able to afford every single one of them. Is start buying the thing, the solar panel things that go over the top. Because not only will this generate your boy sweet, 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 sweet power, but also save me some money as well. Now I'm in a bit of debt. I'll wait till I'm out of debt because I want to still want to be able to use the money. Wait till I'm out of debt to get the rest of the uh, bendy bus ones. Why is that bus not being cleaned? Oh, it's not being cleaned because there's, the cleaners have gone home for the night. Wait, hold on. No, they're not. <laughs> right, next episode. We are going to upgrade the buses. They need more equipment. And we're going to make sure that we give them that. We are going to make sure we give them that. Now, I'm not saying that we've seen a much stuff happen yet. We'll, we'll oh, no, no. There we go. We can have time jump. Um... I'm not going to say much money's changed yet. Oh, let me actually reassign everything. And drivers. Because I don't think that the articulators have circulated enough. So I don't think it would have increased my rating. I mean, it's been increased over time anyway. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Internet. Wow, look at that. We, can, we need to install internet on the buses. That will start giving us like an internet rating. And the cleaners should now arrive shortly as well anyway. But our company has just literally just transformed in one episode. I mean, it transforms every episode, but this has been the biggest one. This has been the biggest one. Right, cleaners are now back because the buses are now being washed and cleaned and sorted. Which is glorious. All the buses are assigned to a parking spot. We've got enough service employees and a new service building. We could technically squeeze some lockers in there as well if, we, if needs be, but I feel like that might be enough. So we can now start investing our money to make sure everything is now running smoothly. We're going to upgrade the buses next episode and add more features to them. Uh, we can have the ability to get... Um, new stuff on we can actually research a mobile app as well we've got enough kind of trophies right now to get usb charging internet and a mobile app oh next episode is going to be a super upgradey episode boys a super upgradey episode right now but we'll end it here anyway boys i hope you did enjoy this episode we're in a bit of debt right now but the money we should reap back in rewards should be crazy it is a friday in the game which means we'll earn quite a bit of cash but when the weekend comes, we probably won't. We probably won't. <laughs>
But we made over 200,000 in one of the days. That is crazy. That is absolutely ridiculous right now. If we can then start extending the depot, uh, we then should be able to get a bunch more parking spaces up on this side, build more routes, and buy more buses. Boys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. Bye.